with what happened as it went on. Yeah, and no, I think it's really important as an athlete, you look after your body. And the same thing again today, you look after your teeth. That's why we're here. And, and as a sportsman, obviously, for me, the last 10 days, as I said, it's been tough for me. Uh, I'm not, I'm in decent shape, but it's just my body's not allowing me to be able to get the best out of myself. So it's just really important, you know, I just might get, get this foot issue sorted and get back on the track because I, lo I love the track. And obviously, Saturday's performance, everybody saw it. It's, it's not. You know, you saw, you saw a, a, a different, and it's not what I was hoping for, but that was part of the trials. doesn't matter who you are, what you have achieved, you still have to show the trials. And, and, and next step was to do, you know, get away and get this foot sorted and see what I can do and keep smiling because, I, you know, I, I love being on the track. It's just, uh, to be honest with you, it's been difficult due to, you know, the COVID and, and restrictions of, of many, th many places. So at the same time, I think in here, in, here in the UK and, and next three or four days, we'll make a decision of what I need to do. Um, but it hasn't been easy, to be honest. No, I'm sure. Um, what's your plan? <laughs> um, no, I will continue to fight and, 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 and you know, keep, keep doing what I'm doing. And, and as I said, if my body allows me to do what I can do, then hopefully, yeah of after the games? I think anything is possible in life and um, I've always said that I'll give it 110% see what I can do and I'm lucky enough you know throughout my career I've won a lot of medals for my country I made so many people proud so that's what keeps me going and at the same time I'm only taking one race at a time one event at a time and hopefully the first stage is to try and get my you know injury sorted and then once I get that sorted uh, we'll, we'll plan on see what I can do asking questions how do you deal with the pressure mentally it's difficult but at the same time i love what i do as long as you love it and keep working hard and, and and don't let other things worry about you not what people say be yourself and that's all you can do in life what would be the thing you'd say to young athletes i would just say keep enjoying it uh, keep keep putting the work keep grafting and that's all we can do and as long as you can look yourself in the mirror and go have i done the work is that enough can i have done more and that's all you can do. Yeah, yeah. I'm here today uh, to surprise these kids and teach them what they can do with their oral health um, and just share what I've gone through in my career. Yeah, no, it's really important that you know we, we talk to the kids and, and a lot of kids do look up to me and I had similar incidents in terms of not looking after my teeth and my health uh, due to suffer and, and you know, caused a problem in my career uh, over the years in terms of not being able to do a certain race I wanted. Um, so it was, it was an ideal situation in terms of being ambassador with, uh, or um, Oral B. It's really nice and we can get engaged there and get kids, you know, smiling and, and just getting kids that doing that, brushing their teeth. Um, even myself, I struggle for kids. Yeah, obviously it's a big concern as a parent and often um, if, if we address it early on and being able to go to the dentist and uh, do regular checkups, then we can do something because often, you know, if your kids are going, last thing you want to hear is having a problem with their teeth because often, you know, when their teeth are growing, it's painful as it is, but then losing teeth due to, you know, um, as I said, like not being able to access to the dentist um, and today it's just, it was nice to be able to see so many kids here and giving them, you know, electrical toothbrush, get them used to it, and just engage you with them and see what they can do by looking after their teeth. Yeah, and I suppose that different is like encouraging them. Yeah, we, we have to encourage and start at the, the grassroots and, and early on, um, and it's just nice to be ambassador or be and get engaged with kids. And, and I think a lot of kids do see me and, and they're like, how do you have that smile? What do you do? And they're just chatting away and, and just, you know, telling them to look after themselves and look after the teeth. Cool.